At the end of the last year, Amazon introduced low inventory level phase. If I quickly show you, it says from April 2024, a low inventory level fee will apply if a product inventory level relative to historical demand in below 28 days. And that announcement raised some questions. Will Amazon charge us for the end of life product? What happens if import items from China is delayed? What if something like COVID hits again? And most importantly, does it mean that now we are going to pay fees for not selling our items? It doesn't make any sense. Amazon still has not answered this question yet. And I know it's getting confusing for a lot of sellers. Hi, this is Tajdeet from Ecom Clips. In this video, I am gonna discuss about Amazon's low inventory level fees. What is it? What is its purpose? The problem and so on. Also, we'll show you how to check if you are paying Amazon extra money for this or not. So, let's get started. Seller's reaction to the news was something noticeable. If you go through social media, you will find a lot of intents that shows that no one is happy with it. Someone posted Amazon has become more creative in finding ways to get more money from sellers this year. That's true indeed, taking sellers reaction on low inventory fees, now Amazon delayed the process, that's quite interesting. Now uh, they are going to credit back these fees uh, incurred between April 1st, 2024 and May 14. Though they are delaying the process, but it seems that they are going to stick to their low inventory level fees. In that case, you need to know what is it and how to check if you are paying that fee. So what is low level inventory fees? The low level inventory fees on Amazon is a charge applied to the sellers who constantly keep too little stock to their products in Amazon fulfillment centers. Let me make it simple for you. Suppose you are selling coffee mugs and you sell around 50 mugs per month. So you need to stock at least 50 mugs to fulfill the demand. But let's say last month you only had 30 mugs but demand is 50, so you are 20 mark short. That means you did not have enough product in stock. And now Amazon would charge you for your product running short on the Amazon Fulfillment Center. I think you got the idea. And why is Amazon going to do that? Actually, to avoid stock out, Amazon wants its warehouse to be like uh, well-stocked stores. When sellers do not carry enough inventory, Amazon is unable to distribute products as effectively and efficiently across its network, which slows delivery speed to customers and increases shipping cost. This is the main purpose of the inventory level fee. But there is a problem. First of all, as an FBA seller, you are already paying a storage fee. Every time you stock item in a FBA center, you have to pay a certain fee based on the volume of the space that you are occupying and based on how long your product remains in the FBA warehouse. And now you have to pay a fee for not storing enough in the FBA warehouse. Unbelievable. Amazon be like, hey, you are storing enough, pay me for the storing. And then, Hey, you are not storing enough, well, you have to pay a penalty then. So basically, Amazon wants to drain sellers money every way possible. Okay, now let's check the chart of fees. Here is the chart of fees, uh, here are the charges. Uh, anywhere between 32 and 89 cents, a unit for uh, something that's up to 16 ounces. 36 cents to 97 cents a unit for up to 3 pounds and 47 cents to uh, $1.11 per unit from 3 to 20 pounds. These are the charges you need to pay attention to. So how to calculate this fees? 
here amazon explains with example let's check this you can see the formula for the long term over the past 90 days the formula is average daily inventory units divided by average daily shipped unit here uh, average daily inventory unit is 243.6 divided by average daily shipped unit which is 5.8 units so the long term historical day of supply is 42 which is above 28 and for the short term uh, the average daily inventory units which is 220.5 here uh, divided by average daily shipped unit which is 12.6 units so the short term historical day of supply is 17.5 uh, here which is below 28 if both were below 28 days only then amazon would incur the low inventory level fees so in this case amazon will not charge any low inventory level fee here well i think you have got the whole idea this decision from amazon is going to be problematic in many ways it will affect online arbitrage and retail arbitrage sellers who do not really have good system to maintain the inventory levels and if you are importing from another country and their supply chains delays like probably you heard of the baltimore port issues that caused the supply chain delay what if that kind of disaster happen again so it is not clear that will amazon charge if that kind of delay of supply Another thing is that if the political conflicts between superpowers that causes supply chain issues occur, that will directly impact sellers that are importing products. So how you can avoid it? Cause you do not want to pay extra charge, right? Well, you have to be careful about your inventory level. You need to check and you have to be updated all the time this is the only way to avoid the charge so where do you find your low inventory issues well go to seller central uh, go to um, click this go to inventory and then click on mpa inventory this is where uh, you find what process you are having issues with from here uh, go to historical days of supply if you have low inventory it will be marked red so keep your eyes open to not fall into any penalty look amazon has a soft corner for their customers this is completely okay but now what they are doing making things complicated for the sellers and now it is a hard to earn profit from the item you sold cause amazon is taking a big stack from you and this is getting ridiculous now completely ridiculous so what do you think is the low inventory level fees good or it is only just going to hard sellers share your thoughts comment your opinion in the comment box if this information helps you hit the like button subscribe to our channel to get updated also, we have lots of other informative videos that might help you to level up your e-commerce strategy in 2024. And if you want some more help, we are always here to help you out. We are a full-service e-commerce agency with more than 10 years of experience. Currently, we have more than 300 e-commerce experts. Together, we helped and have been managing thousands of best-selling products. You can get on a same day appointment and talk to us about how we can use these strategies to level up your account. So check out all these resources or give us a call today. We can talk to you to solve your queries. Thanks for tuning in today. Till then, take care, stay safe, see you soon.